In just three days in Arizona, the highest team honor for current players and coaches will be announced the national championship. Today, the highest individual honors for past players and coaches unveiled. 2016 College Football Hall of Fame class announced. Here's Joe Tessitore. Pat McElnally is the Ivy League Hall of Famer from Harvard, a tight end for induction. Named first team All-American in 74 two-time first-team All-Ivy, ranked second in the nation in receptions in 73 and 74. Named New England Player of the Year, led Harvard to a share of the Ivy Conference title in 74, finished his career as the Crimson's career record holder for touchdowns, receptions, career receiving yards, named an NFF National Scholar Athlete Award in 1974, the 18th Harvard player now in the hall, in the hall, Pat McAnally. Thrilled to have two newly elected Hall of Famers here with us today. Pat McAnally, Randall Cunningham. Gentlemen. Uh, this is a tremendous honor, of course. Uh, I think the Football Hall of Fame and the NFF does, does so many great things. And in fact, my nephew, Connor Loftus, uh, had a, the highest grade point average at 4.71 four years ago and was honored in New York. And uh, it's, it's been a tremendous uh, opportunity to come out and just talking to Randall is great. And I'm so looking forward to joining Dick Duron, who I played with and against at Yale. And uh, thank you. I, I was flabbergasted when I, I found out. Thank you a humble and appreciative Harvard guy who mentions Yale when he's accepted into the College Football Hall of Fame. <laughs> Pat, what's the one thing, trader characteristic, you feel football brought to you? Well, for me, uh, I was very fortunate. Uh, my parents, my mom always pushed the grades. My dad pushed, uh, they were okay too, but he pushed the, uh, the athletics. And the real, the real reason that I have such a passion for coaching in high school is I found over the last three or four years, it's a tremendous opportunity for kids with uh, any grade point average over 3.0. And if it's 3.8 and they play football and they have a chance, they don't have to be genetic giants, but they have a chance to get into schools that would usually require 4.2 or 4.4. Uh, so if football opens doors for kids, um, I think it's academically, that's what's really important. Thank you everybody and congratulations to the 2016 College Football Hall of Fame class.